Hey, what's up, camp nerds? We are back building on to the notepad, and I believe this is the sixth uh, part of this tutorial. And so uh, what I've been doing is I've been recording all these videos in one day for the next uh, week that I'm going to be out of town, so that way we don't miss anything. So I apologize if they seem uh, really fast and short. And usually I do not do that. I try to explain everything, but I am on a limited time and I've still got to edit all these, put everything together, stuff like that. And that takes some time. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting back into our nerd pad. If you have just come in, started watching these and this is our nerd pad and it's uh, the functionality is it gives you your character count. It clears everything. You can open a file, which is just random stuff I was doing in the last tutorial. It gives you your file name. It gives you your character count, and I have the hiccups. Shit. But anyways, hang on a second. All these videos have probably been screwed up anyways with uh, either... Uh, flaws. Oh, excuse me. Shit. Ugh. I'm doing this too fast that I'm getting the hiccups. So, just a second. Okay, we're going to try to do this. All right. So now we're going to be getting into the open document. So, if we come back. I got to slow down a little bit. Okay, now, if we come back, you're going to see that we have already done a lot of our different uh, things. So on the next, on the menu item is doing the open file. So we're going to give this an X name, and this is going to be BTN open. Ugh. Y'all are just going to have to go through with the hiccups with me on this. So it's going to be click event. Oh, and it's added the click event right here. So the same as last time. We did a private void and called it. We're going to do the same thing here. Private void open file like so and then here we can just go ahead and call the uh, open file like that so we don't forget it like we did in the last one so here you are going to use the open file dialog open equals new open file dialog and then this is going to be your uh, Uh, you're uh, come down and you're going to do your open and close curly brackets. And as last time, you're just going to do that. So if you've already done got to this point already, you can just come up here and highlight that and come down and paste it. And then where it says title, uh, basically you're going to put open, open your file. All right, so now everything is where it needs to be. All right, so now when we come down here, we're going to do our if statement. If open dot show dialog is equal to true, then what we want to do is your stream reader sr equals new stream reader and then we're going to define your file dot open read and then it is going to be your open dot file name like so 
and you're going to close that off right there. So SR, uh, before we get into that, we need to put in our uh, TXT body uh, dot text equals, and then this is going to be SR dot read to end, and then it's going to be the... Uh, <clears throat> SR dot dispose like so. And then what we did in the save file here, you can just copy and paste that. So it gives you the file name of the character count whenever you open it. And then we need to, uh, I believe, do sr dot and then let's come down and uh, yeah that is it on that part right there so now we have called the open file and then now once we start it okay there's an error let's see what the error is uh, save does not have oh yeah you need to change this to open like so yeah now we can start it so now we have our save so if we want to open let's do our uh, saved file here you'll see that it gives you that we can clear that and we can open another one uh, let's do this one right here it gives you the character count 12 and let's say we want to open a big file <clears throat> give it just a second it is a big file All right, and you see that it opened, and it is uh, four million nine hundred ninety thousand two hundred and forty-three characters. All right, so uh, that kind of gives you that right there. Now, let's say we just to show you again because it went a large files take just a moment, so uh, we'll let it pop up again so you can see give it just a second and there it goes and you see it gives us the character count as well ago and then also the file name kjv bible KG, kjv bible which is an application that i'm building for my father all right so that is how you do the open file all right now the last thing that we want to do in this right here and we have this is a lot of people has asked and I will start my nerd pad is how do you get the little tooltip that comes up all right and I'm going to show you how to do the tooltip so if we bring this out all right and you see BTN new all right now if we go over and we go to the BTN new what you're going to do is you are going to click on BTN new and you're going to go to properties and then you are going to uh, go to common I believe it is uh, let me uh, just check and make sure uh, I'm just checking on my side Yes, you go to common and you would type in new document. Then you would come over to your uh, next and that would be save document. And then here you could put uh, open documents and this is all under your common and then tooltip 
And if you run it, you will see that you have new document, save document, and open document. All right, so this is just the basic of getting a text document uh, notepad. You actually have it, so you can type, you can uh, do the tab, and it gives you the character count. You save it, gives you the file name. We have already done did all that, and uh, uh, like I said, uh, I have a lot of different files right here that I do not need, so we're going to put them in the recycle bin. And uh, that is it for this tutorial on building a basic notepad. If you would like to see more as far as doing like the colors and things like that, uh, when it comes to my notepad, the nerd pad, then uh, I can show y'all how to do the colors, stuff like that, uh, how to get the different themes. Just leave a comment in the comment section below and this is Ian coming at you with another tutorial here in the camp and the next and last will probably be uh, the video on Christmas Day or Christmas Day afterwards and so we'll just kind of get that going from there. I hope everybody liked the little series of uh, that we have been doing on these little tutorials and I will see y'all when I get back from Christmas break and I hope you guys love the tutorials on getting this if you'd like to see more just leave a comment in the comment section I'm sorry it was rushed and fast so until next time I will see y'all in the next tutorial keep it nerdy I